Welcome to Marento. Today we are going to learn that how we can block the access of website in our TP-Link Wi-Fi router. Here our model is TP-Link 300M wireless and router. Don't worry if you don't have the same order number. Only the thing is we require the TP-Link router so that you can make the, change, make the changes in configuration. It could be of any model, no issue. All the TP-Link router having almost same configuration. So first of all, take the access of your TP-Link by using the browser. So if you are new to the TP-Link Wi-Fi router, so in that case, you can find the IP address of the Wi-Fi router on the back of your device and the credential, username, username and password. So uh, in our case, the IP address is 192.168.0.1. So we have taken the access of our Wi-Fi router. Now the username, in my case, it is admin and the password, hit enter. The left panel of the screen, you may find few options like status, quick setup, WPS, network, wireless, DSCP, forwarding, security, control panel, sorry, parental control and access control. So here we go, click on access control. Here it is rule, host, target and schedule. So instead of creating all rules and host and target and schedule individually, we are going to create in a single shot by using our setup wizard. Before clicking on setup wizard, check out enable internet access control and select deny the packet specified by any enable access control policy to pass through the router. Now click on setup wizard. Now we have two modes, IP address and MAC address. If you wanted to block the access of the website for a few MAC addresses for a few devices like your mobile phone, your, your brother mobile phone, your sister mobile phone. So you can take the MAC address and you can, you can give over here, right? And if you wanted to block for the whole IP range so that you can do so we are going to we are going to select the IP address mode now. Give the host description. It could be anything. Like in my case, I am just giving the IP address range, and the range will be the IP address. The range is from 192.168.0.1, and I am going to block the access of the website for the complete subnet. That is my 192.168.0.54. Now click on next and again we have two modes IP address and the domain name. If you know the IP address of the website so that you can give the IP address and the port number which you can mention over here and the protocol also. But in our case to make it more simplified just click on domain name and, the, and give the description like social website. domain name like facebook.com and uh, you can also give youtube.com it's consuming really great bit. so let me show you whether facebook.com is accessible right now so here we go it is accessible now you can give at a time you can give four number of uh, domain names and now click on next so right now the schedule is not enabled like uh, we have we now we have to create the schedule so if you wanted to block the website for whole day for whole year for every day of week so you can click on every day and you can also select 24 hours but and if you wanted to block it on particularly on saturday and sunday like uh, Saturday and Sunday so you can select the days and you can also select the hour you can give the hour and so at that time it will be blocked so we are going to block these websites always nobody will be able to access it the whole day for the whole uh, days of week every day of the week now we have given the name of always now click on next 
Oh, it's saying me begin time. So I wanted to block for 24 hours. Right now, click on next. Okay. Now over here you can give the name of the rule. Like your rule can be anything. Block. Upside. And the host is IP address range. Target is social website. And schedule always. Status is enable or disable. So you wanted to enable the policy, then click on enable. If you wanted to disable the policy, then click on disable. So here we have enabled the policy now click on finish. And now click on save. Now just try to access the website whether still it is accessible or not. So here we go, Facebook.com. Facebook.com so both of them this is not accessible here we can try YouTube also see it is not accessible at all it has redirected to www.facebook.com and you can also try with youtube.com so now it is also not accessible so thank you for watching our video like us subscribe us and enjoy thanks for our thanks for watching our video have a nice day